Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I got to say, I'm really picking up on your person's energy heavy. Like, it's, it's today, this afternoon, it's been making me, like, have these moments of tears, okay? You may also be picking up on their energy, all right? Really heavy, because this is somebody who's extremely depressed. Like, I feel like crying right now, you guys. I know I'm going to be trying to hold back the tears in this reading. I'm so sorry, but I'm picking up on their energy, all right? Anyway, just take re what resonates, Cancer. Leave the rest behind. You guys know the drill, okay? And thank you so much, everyone, for everything, all of the love you give me. Um, all of my subscribers, a huge thank you to you. Everybody new here, welcome. Thank you guys for the comments. On the bottom of the deck, we've got Twin Flame Soulmate Connection. Somebody who loves you and can't stop thinking about you. This is someone who's, oh my gosh, Cancer. They're so emotional. Okay, so the song I'm picking up on, Cancer, is a song called um, no, Nobody's Home or Nobody Home by um, Pink Floyd. Okay, it's a song from the movie The Wall. Um I don't even remember how it starts anymore, but in the song, he's like, um, uh, he's talking about all the, all the crap things he has in his life, okay, and the people um, that this person has in their life, right? Um, you know, when, when they're a good dog, when I'm a good dog, they sometimes throw me the bone in. Yeah, so like, they're, nobody's giving them anything. I feel like they're treating this person, whoever they chose over you, is very controlling. Um, could be uh, maybe even narcissistic. Uh, this person is learning a harsh lesson. And then he goes in the song, he says something like, Ooh, babe, when I pick up the phone, there'll be nobody home. Like, they, this person can't reach you, okay? And they're thinking like, they're sinking into such a deep depression cancer, okay, that it's making me want to cry. Um, you're out here just kind of balancing, right? And I did pick up on ballerina energy. So you could be a dancer. You could be into ballet. Um, they showed me a vision of that this morning, and I didn't even think about it um, until right now. Uh, yeah, you're just kind of doing your own thing, right? Um, being very graceful through all of this, like you're not showing that you're heartbroken. This person knows that you're walking away from them, that they may not get another chance with you, but you're not showing any kind of sign of heartbreak or anything. This is somebody who doesn't even know if you feel anything for them anymore. Some of you don't anymore. Some of you, this person has damaged this connection to the point where you've, you've lost love for them. You've lost respect for them. Okay. Um, you've definitely lost trust in this person. Like you do not trust them anymore. And they know that all right, I feel like they're still with someone else or they have other people in their life that kind of um, don't treat this person well. And they know it. They know they're being mistreated wherever they are. Okay, but that's somebody who, this is someone who's learning a lesson. I, I feel like they're having to sit in what they chose over you. Okay, and this is somebody who's, it's beyond miserable. Okay, it's almost to like... Um, a point of a depression where they're kind of giving up on life, giving up on, on, on everything around them. Like they just, this is like depressed hermit energy. They don't care about anything. You know, they're like, um, okay, well, they're looking at all the things that they do have in their life and they're thinking it's, it's nothing compared to what they had when they were with you. You know, if only they could have you. If only this person could have another chance at union. This is the possibility for union, it says here. Okay? Possibility for union. But this is also coming out in reverse. The wailing tree. Reconciliation in reverse. So this person knows that you're walking away from this connection. They know that they may never um, have union with you again. 
They have no idea how you feel about them. You're not talking to them. You're um, or you're ignoring the messages because I feel like this person has tried to call you. Um, you know when they do. Uh, how does he say it in the song again? Um, that is how I know when I try to get through on the telephone to you. There'll be nobody home. It's it's a very sad song, and that's how your person is feeling. I feel like they're in hermit energy, sitting in a quiet, dark space, okay? Thinking about all that they got from their choices, which is nothing, pretty much nothing. You know, they've got 13 channels of ish on the TV to choose from. They've got pinhole burns all down the front of their favorite satin shirt, nicotine stains on their fingers. This is all what he's saying in the song, okay? Um, and this person, <laughs> um, they only want to reach out to you. You were that, you were their only light in their life. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm picking up on your person's energy. This is totally not my energy. I just went for a drive in my car with the heated seats. It's impossible for me to be unhappy right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's one of my favorite things is the heated seats. So this is not my energy. This is your person's, and I'm having a really hard time choking back the tears. All they can do is think about you here with the Six of Cups. Okay, this person's in love with you. They don't want to let you go. They're, um, they're remembering you, you know. Um, they're remembering the happy times. They're realizing they should have cherished you, Cancer, when they had the chance. They should have. You know, I feel like that's what this person is thinking. Woulda, shoulda, couldas, right? They should have treated you right. They should have, man, they should have uh, they should have supported you in whatever made you happy, right? They should have helped to build you up. You know, they should have been cheering you on. They should have defended you. They should have stood by you, and this person didn't do any of that. And, and now they're thinking back on all of it. They're looking at what they've acquired in their life since they met you. And it's like, crap. It's nothing. You know, and all they want now is another chance with you. And I feel like they've tried to reach out, but you're not answering their calls. Or maybe you have this person blocked and you may not even know that they're calling. You know, um, they just can't get through. That is how they know when they try to get through on the telephone to you, there will be nobody home. Okay? Ooh, babe, when I pick up the phone, there will be nobody home. Yeah, it's so somber, you know? Um, and that's the mood that this person is in. Tonight, maybe through the weekend... Like, they're really going to feel sorry for themselves. They're going to be taking a good look at their life. You know, what did this person actually acquire by hurting you? Nothing. Nothing, Cancer. Okay, misery. That's what they got for hurting you. Yeah. Clarify the seven. Of, okay. There's other people that are concerned about this person, really concerned about their state of depression. I kind of get the sense that they, um, their phone could be blowing up by people that want to check on them. Okay, um, People have been observing this person and, uh, and watching how they're acting, and they're, they're um, kind of disintegrating. This person is deteriorating little by little by little. Pulling away from everybody little by little by little. They may have a friend or a family member, someone really close to them that's extremely concerned about them, wants them to get some help. Um, so somebody, I feel like their family, mostly it's their family, is asking this person to get some kind of professional help. You know, please get some help because they're fearful that this person's going to do something to themselves. They're in a, in a deep state of depression without you. They literally can't stand their life right now the way it is. Um, all they want is you, okay? 
this is somebody oh my gosh they're in so much heartache you guys i feel like crying i feel like their father is talking to them okay i feel like this is their father talking to them wanting to them to go to some kind of rehab maybe there's also um significant signs in the song that um it's just given me the the clues that this person may be on some kind of substance as well it, they could be over drinking they could be um doing some kind of substance um overdoing it okay um so yeah i feel like there's some kind of intervention going on here family is showing up at this person's house to check on them i feel like they're walking around they're looking at the place like it's just trashed okay they're actually showing me the scenes from pink floyd the wall right now um yeah it's just trashed um you know in the movie the, the, the it's a rock star staying in a, in a um hotel room and the hotel room is just kind of destroyed like their house i feel is a mess they're a mess they're not taking care of themselves i've got wild staring eyes and i've got a strong urge to fly but i've got nowhere to fly to fly to fly to yeah see this person i feel like they're hopped up on something i do i feel like they've got some kind of addiction that addiction is from numbing trying to numb their pain trying to get you off of their mind okay um it's it's just getting worse if this person had an addiction before it's getting way worse now way worse now um i'm getting that this person's health is deteriorating their mind is deteriorating they've got no passion for life anymore um they're not happy at all with their life okay and all they can think about is you you're the only one that they want okay and this person even though there's family coming to check on them even though they may even be in a relationship or just getting out of a karmic relationship with someone else i feel like um i feel like yeah this person feels utterly alone really and it's almost as if they're pushing everyone away okay because they just they really just want to be alone to kind of wallow in this self-pity think about you and wonder if they'll ever get another chance okay it's it's their heart their their heart is breaking here this person's broken hearted i feel like all they want to do is watch you that's their only time of happiness they're watching you um if you have any kind of social media platform if you do anything on the internet okay you could have your own YouTube channel, website, blog, whatever. This person is watching what you're doing. And I feel like they're looking, they're watching you very closely and being kind of critical because um, they're looking for any sign that you may possibly give that could tell them how you feel about them now. That It's driving them crazy not knowing how you feel about them. Okay? That is driving this person crazy. You know, they're having to look around their life, realize that they didn't get anything out of the choices that they made. Um, yeah, they're looking at themselves here. And they're realizing, you know, when they lost you, they lost all love. That they, they And they feel like they feel like they have nowhere to turn and their family though their family is trying to get them some help but i feel like this person doesn't want any help they just want to be left alone okay they just want to be left alone this depression is bad man yeah see they don't want to talk to anybody they just want to keep drinking they just want it and it's it's almost like they're allowing the tower to fall down on top of them that's what it feels like you know i feel like they're just sitting here like i'm just gonna sit here and drink and let the tower just crumble right on top of me 
seriously. This is somebody who drinks a lot or they do a substance or it's both. They could do both at the same time. Okay? It's just numbing, 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 but nothing is numbing the pain. Nothing can... See, they can try to numb all they want, but they can't... They can't stop looking at the reality of things. You know, their life um, has really gone down the tubes because of their own choices, and they realize that. They're really feeling sorry for themselves. This person's, I just feel like they're reckless. They're reckless with their health. Okay, they were, they were reckless with this connection. And now they're, it's, it's like their life has turned into a nightmare, really, is what it feels like to this person. It's turned into like a nightmare. And they cannot seem to pull themselves out of this depression. Yeah, it's, it's over you, Cancer, the Empress. They know they're never going to find another you. They know that they can't replace you. There's just no replacing the empress, you know. So this person does realize they bought, they lost the best thing they ever had. That's literally what this is. They lost the, they lost their, uh, possibly their twin flame soulmate connection. But this is the lovers card. It's just like a deep level soulmate. Okay, it doesn't have to be a twin flame, but they lost their their um, their close deep soulmate connection. They um, they lost this uh, blessing in love. They're not going to get another blessing like this one. You know, they lost their empress. They lost their happiness. And this person can't find anything, anything bright or positive about their life right now because of that choice that they made to mistreat you and walk away or betray you. And you are just not talking to them. They can't sleep at night either. All right, this person is tossing, turning. I'm feeling like this is a nightmare. This, their life is a nightmare right now. And they can't seem to, you know, they have to look at the reality of things. And that's, this is how they made their life because this is what they chose. No, but oh my gosh, they want you back. They want you back, Cancer. Okay? They put you out in the cold, and now you're moving on. And you're out here having a victory. This person could be very worried that you found somebody new. Okay? I feel like they're paranoid about that. Um, you've got your boundaries up, so you don't want to talk to them. I feel like you don't want to talk to this person. You don't want to see this person. I feel like you just want them off of your mind. You want to be able to let go of this. But the, here's the thing. I feel like you're still in this Six of Swords because this person is pulling on your energy. Okay? They're pulling on your energy. And I feel like, um, I feel like you putting your foot down to that, calling your energy back to you, that's how you're able to move forward. Okay? So... Yeah, you can still feel their their energy. You can maybe feel their depression. Um, you may start crying for no reason, okay? That's your person's energy. Yeah, and I feel like they they want to be everything that you need them to be now, but now it's too late, okay? It's too late. I don't think this person's going to get another chance. You're moving on, Cancer, and releasing this. Um, and you could even be moving, but this is closing out a cycle. So you're closing this, you're closing this out and you're not backing down, you know, and it's leaving this person just way out of balance. Like they don't know what to do. Any, any good things that would be coming into their life, it's all blocked. They've got basically nothing good in their life. You were, you were the only light in their life. And they realize that now. This person is so depressed. Depressed to the point where their family is alerted. 
um, by just how bad it is. Okay, their family is worried about them. They want this second chance with you so bad, Cancer. But um, I feel like you're leaving them behind. You could be um, moving away, you know, and they're finding out about this and they're like, there'll be nobody home. When I try to get through, there'll be nobody home. Yeah, because you may be moving away. You could have shared a home with this person. If you shared a home with this person and you moved out or they they pretty much put you out, right, with the Five of Pentacles, um, now going home to them is extremely difficult because you've left traces of your energy there. They, they have memories of you walking through the house or, you know, um, whatever. It could be anything in that home. Everywhere they look is a memory of you. It's, uh, it's very difficult for this person to be in that house or to go home to, their, to that place, okay? Man, this person is so depressed. Depressed to the point where their family is scared for them. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, maybe Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yep, they lost their Empress. And they can't. It's like they don't know how to live with that. You know, they haven't figured out, out how to live with that. And the, and the reality of this, it's like um, a very depressing nightmare. You know, and they're having to sit here, sit like this. You know what I mean? Um, like in a, in a dark, lonely space. But this is what they chose. This is the consequences of what they did. Okay? Yeah, I feel like their family is holding an intervention. I feel like they're trying to get this person some help. Number one, rehab. I feel like they're going to be sent to rehab because um, there is a substance abuse problem. I feel like it's going out of control. I feel like their drinking is out of control and any amount of numbing is not going to, it's not going to take away the reality of what things are. Like this is the reality of it all. Yeah, listen to that song. If you want to know how your person is feeling, what their life looks like, listen to that song, um, Nobody's Home by... Um, or it's Nobody Home by um, Pink Floyd from the movie The Wall. Yeah, see, they so want a new beginning with you. They're looking at the choice that they made here. They're realizing they should have chosen a different path. They should have chosen you instead of what the lifestyle that they chose. Yeah, and you're everything. They treated you like you weren't enough, Cancer, and you ended up being the Empress, the Empress in the Minor Arcana. Everything. This is my everything card, right? And now you're out here single. I feel like maybe you waited for this person to get their life together, but they didn't show you anything. They didn't put in any effort into this connection, so you're leaving this behind you. You know, and it's very unfortunate that this person cannot cope with the consequences of their own actions. But that is not your problem. I feel like you you should stay focused on you. Okay? Stay focused on you, Cancer. Um, keep building and working on whatever it is that you're working on. Because you're becoming very abundant and successful here. So keep growing whatever this is for you. Keep moving forward, okay? Keep focusing on your own peace, all right? Um, yeah, and some of you are making a house move, so that's going to take up a lot, of your, um, a lot of your focus and effort here. 
You just keep moving forward. Yeah, look, and there it is, crying. Crying over spilt milk. Knowing that they missed out on the best thing they're ever going to have in their life. Oh my gosh, the depression off of this person is sick. I think I need to clear out this energy, you guys. Um, anyway, Cancer, that's what I've got for tonight's reading. I do hope this helps. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.